What's up guys? Thanks for stopping back by the channel, The Auto Shop Life, hanging out with me, Jim, JRC54. So at the shop today, putting in some work on the old Civic. Want to uh, get a video out there, show you guys what I've been up to. Really ain't got nothing planned on it. Uh, I'm sure if you guys saw my Instagram post, we took off a lot of paint, a lot of primer, and a whole lot of Bondo. Got this thing down to bare metal, but I'll show you where we're at with it. Check it out. Shut up and sit down. All right, guys, so as you can see behind me, I made myself my own little homemade dust booth here in the bay, just kind of surrounded the Civic with plastic because, you know, starting off, I didn't plan on taking this thing down to bare metal. You know, I just kind of wanted to fix a few areas. I'm sure you guys seen in the videos that I've pointed out, you know, where, you know, the Bono broke or it was rusty or the paint started bubbling up or the imperfections before I painted it. You know, most of the time when I'm repainting cars, that's what I do. You know, I'll patchwork, you know, any kind of bondo or fix. If there's any kind of rotted away rust, you know, I will weld in metal and all that stuff. But, you know, I never really take it down to bare metal. But this one, you know, after sanding on it, I didn't even plan on making, you know, the OSHA approved paint booth here or dust booth at least. But, uh, you know, the dust got too crazy in here in the shop. I mean, it was getting everywhere. It was in the office. It was in it was in the bath the office bathroom and I had this door closed. You know, dust is just getting everywhere. Definitely gonna have to do some major cleaning after I'm done with this. But for now, keep the plastic up. Finish on this. Getting in today, I'll show you guys what the Civic looks like. Haven't really filmed in there because I just don't want to get dust all over the camera and dealing with dust. You know, I mean, you know, I got the face mask on, I got the headphones on and all that. Pretty much just sanding away and. Uh, you know, just boring stuff. Who wants to watch someone sit there and uh, sand a car or sit there and watch paint dry? You know, try to keep things excited. But uh, for you guys following the Civic build, we're making headway. I'm, I'm getting this stuff done, got it planned, maybe finish up some Bondo touch up. You know, treating the rust is what we're going to do today. I'll show you guys kind of my plans on how I'm going to tackle that. Maybe by this weekend, get ready to, you know, clean everything up, clean the dust. Get ready to paint this thing. Uh, I do have paint ordered already. I have been working on parts here and there, the hood. Um, I'm next. I'm probably going to do the side skirts, maybe the back bumper and things like that. I got to pick up a door next week, the passenger side door. But there's the booth, guys. You can pretty much see just a bunch of uh, bags. Got top secret on there. I'm gonna probably take you guys in there and show you, but you know, don't tell anybody. Don't let anybody know. But yeah, just kind of surrounded around the mezzanine, hung plastic wherever I could. And you know, some of this dust was from me sanding before I made the plastic, but dust is still getting out. Obviously it's not 100% secure. You know, even with the little fan I got, I put a little filter on there, trying to move, circulate the air in there and all that stuff, but had to turn that off because it was just moving the bags all around. But here's the door, pretty much come out inside. And you can see what I've been up to here. I started to, uh, you know, use, I got the Eastwood rust encapsulator. That's pretty much how I'm going to handle some of these smaller, you know, little rust spots I had around here. This one I haven't touched yet. I figure, wow, uh, I'll show you the steps I'm taking to, you know, treat that. So we're going to go ahead and treat that today. You want to allow <clears throat> some time for this stuff to dry. So do this today, maybe hit it with a second coat before I leave. And then that way, uh, you know, next time I got a chance to work on, I can kind of sand it down and then start bonding over this stuff, smooth everything out. But didn't turn out too bad. A lot of solid on it. You know, it definitely brings out some of the imperfections. Like this side was probably the worst. I mean, this whole panel was pretty much covered in bondo, you know, and looking at it, you know, I'd like to say, you know, the guy who did this car, if you're watching, man, reach out to me because I got some questions for you on why you use that much Bondo. But getting down to it, you can see, you know, little dings and dents. I have to go by and just fix this with minimal Bondo. But we're going to go ahead and treat this rust so it doesn't get worse or, you know, crack any kind of Bondo I put on there. But it's not going to take much to uh, smooth that out. It's pretty smooth, pretty strong yet. So not too worried about that. <clears throat> couple little dings and dents up here you know fix that kind of left it like that so I can see it here uh, lots of little rust and dents 
along the top of the windshield. I did pull the glass on this just to make it easier. You can see some of the sandpaper we went through here using uh, 40 grit, 60 grit to you know chop away at the layers and layers of paint. This thing's actually been painted probably three or four times. You know, I probably saw the black, the orange, I saw another layer of Bondo, and then there was another layer of black before I actually got down to the SI blue. And then that was just cer certain areas. You know, obviously this area, they sanded it down when they Bondoed it, so I never saw any blue there. But, you know, along here, you can still see the original blue here and here. Go through this with a wire wheel. But that's what it's looking like. Here's the driver's side. I'm going to clean this up with you know alcohol get all any dust I can get off of it off of it I usually you know brake clean does the trick but not too bad patched a little hole here there is some rust by this door here and I still got some sanding to do on this side but you can see that was probably the worst of it there I'm gonna have to fix that and then I gotta still sand this little area here like we did on the other side so that's where we're at with this Figure, get you guys in here, show you what's going on. You know, before I start sanding, we'll show you kind of how the steps I'm going to take to, you know, at least treat that big spot of rust on the passion recorder panel over there with the, uh, you know, Eastwood encapsulator. You pretty much, you know, th there's videos out there. We'll see how this stuff works. You know, I do not want to cut out. You know, I didn't want to go this far, guys. You know, I, I really didn't want to go this far. And, you know, I got to stop somewhere. You know, I, I can't let this get out of control um, like I normally would want to, but. I gotta let that one go. So I'm just gonna do this, try to you know protect it, you know stop the rust. I figure once Bondo and paints on it, get a tight enough seal. It's not like this thing's gonna be sitting out in the snow. I'm not gonna have this thing driving through the winter. So hopefully the rust lasts. The Bondo will stay stuck to it, and it'll look good for years to come when we're done painting it. So, so we'll get the tripod in here and uh, you know get set up. Show you guys a couple steps how this stuff uh, takes care of it. Maybe we could look back on it and. Uh, you know see how it holds up after we get paint on it and all that after a few months getting this thing out there see how it holds up in this area especially but I'm not too worried about it really I was worried about the rust you know the amount of rust on the roof line here but guys when I say Bondo I mean they had this whole area covered in Bondo you know when you look at this they didn't do a bad job filling it and shaving the channel here you know it's pretty smooth you know they probably could have used minimal amount I'm, I'm not sure why they used as much bondo as they did but you know I guess bad technique or maybe it was easier to sand bondo than sand a, I, I have no idea but I could guarantee you at least 20 pounds of bondo came off this thing they used buckets full but this is that's this is what I got to do to the other side get this nice and smooth it'll help the fender line up and the door line up better and I know with how much Bondo I took off of this, I mean, it stuck out probably there with the amount of Bondo, so I'm wondering what the door is going to look like. But let's get at this. Let's get this sprayed, get this treat, this rust treated. All right, guys. So what you pretty much want to do, make sure everything's, you know, cleaned off and sanded. You know, get your prep work done. Uh, pretty much says uh, make sure it's free of, you know, loose rust scale, paint, you know, clean with a stiff wire brush. Remove all dust, oil, grease, chemical contamination uh, using the uh, prep paint. Uh, I have, uh, actually have that. Here's the, uh, the prep paint. So we'll spray some of this on there. Get everything sanded clean. Uh, I'll finish off with some brake clean. Make sure everything's as clean as it possibly could be. And then we'll spray a few coats on this uh, little area here. Shut up and sit down. Alright guys, so now that we got it free and clear of any contaminants, it wants you to uh, you know shake can vigorously for two minutes. I've been shaking the can because you guys can see I did the roof already. Uh, and then uh, you know applying coat and then it says hold can 10 to 12 inches from the surface, apply a medium coat to ensure maximum adhesion. 
overlapping surrounded paint by so just like if you're normally painting with a uh, aerosol can or a rattle can and then allow uh, single coats of east wood encapsulator will be dry to the touch in 20 minutes uh, dry in three to four hours at 68 Fahrenheit and then you could do a second coat and third coat so we'll probably just put the first coat on a little heavier and then let it dry We got our, uh, you know, medium to heavy coat on there. Let this thing dry till tomorrow. Maybe I'll hit it with a second coat and then go back by and hit it up with Bondo. So, this ain't a plug on Eastwood, but you know, we'll see how this stuff does for us. You know, I got the uh, the pre-painting prep for you guys that want to know. Part number on this one is uh, 10041Z for the painting prep, and then the rust encapsulator is. 16060Z for the rust encapsulator. And uh, you know, from the way it smells, it smells pretty strong, but you know, it's supposed to penetrate deep into the rust, you know, basically turning the rust into like a black primer overlay, and then it, it prevents it from spreading. So we'll see if this does the job we need it to do. It's better than cutting the metal. You know, I'm not gonna be dragging the welder over there like I told you guys. This is as far as we're going. This is I, I got to stop somewhere. This is as far as we're going. You know, giving you guys some options. You know, if you don't have a welder, you don't feel like going as far. Sometimes I like to go. This one, I drew the line. You know, it's as far as we're going. It's going to turn out looking good. It's just a matter of you know, is this stuff going to prevent it from forming again, rusting, getting worse? If it does see you know the elements, rain, water, humidity, and all that other stuff. But that's the stuff from Eastwood. I'll try to put a link down in the description where you could uh, get these. I know they have. The paintable versions and then obviously the compressed air version too uh, for the uh, spray guns and all that stuff. Then I also picked up uh, some, some filler. You know, I'm going to use Bondo brand obviously for my last coat to smooth everything out. But, you know, for the uh, deeper areas and, uh, you know, the, uh, the rust areas and the real bad areas, this is going to be my first coat. But I did end up hearing some good stuff about this. You could tell the way it's packaged, it's pretty good stuff, you know, quality stuff. Actually made by uh, Valspar, the paint people and all that, distributed in Ohio, uh, US chemical and plastics, made in USA. So we'll see how this stuff holds up too, but this is the stuff I'm gonna use. You know, after we sand down the Eastwood metal encapsulator, this is gonna be the first coat, especially in those rusted areas and worst areas on the car. And then we're gonna switch over to the Bondo brand to smooth everything out, make it look real nice and eat not is be sparingly with the bondo not go so crazy like the last guys did so this is the next stuff we're going to be using step two so just a quick update for you guys you guys leave it down in the comments you guys got any questions concerns criticisms you know anything that maybe i should have done differently and all that stuff uh this brand you know these brand things the eastwood the uh you know the metal filler that i'm going to end up using is pretty expensive hopefully i don't need much of it this should be enough if i got to get another one i will like i said i'll leave if I can find links to this, where I got it from, or Amazon link, I'll leave it down in the description. You guys want to check this stuff out. It's not paid promotion. It's the stuff I want to check out. So I'll let you guys know, does it work out? How does it work compared to other things and other products and all that stuff? But just want to do a quick and let you guys know I'm at with the Civic. I'm going to stick around, do a little more sanding, maybe light touch up, get all the prep work done, clean up some of this dust so we can move on to getting the Bondo dust taken care of and getting ready for paint. So as always, guys, like, comment, subscribe. Catch you in the next one. Signing out.